So we're talking about the Open Level Extension Study, mm -hmm. which is the um, longest um, study duration that we've had to Pilimab um, treated patients um, involved with. Um, we've had patients who've been in the study for a little over three years. Um, it's an open label extension study and actually provides evidence of Dupilumab's safety and efficacy in the real world um, setting. Um, we're excited about uh, the results of the study because it demonstrates the continued efficacy of Dupilumab uh, despite long-term um, treatment, you know, like I said, as long as um, three years. Um, the poster or the, um, the abstract that we have um, looks at data from um, all patients, and it also has a cut that looks at data from patients who have completed about a year. And um, we see um, continued efficacy in terms of improvement in the um, skin um, lesions of atopic dermatitis. Um, we see improvement in pruritus, which is the hallmark of the condition, improvements in the quality of life of patients involved in the study. Um, we also, very importantly, um, have not seen any new safety findings from this long-term treatment of patients who were involved with this, with the, um, with this long-term study, uh, which is very encouraging to us. Um, so patients continue to, the, the profile of the adverse events that we're seeing continue to reflect what we've seen in the control studies. Um, as you may be aware, we just um, released our controlled one-year study of Dupilumab um, at the um, American Academy of Dermatology meeting um, in Orlando very recently. And um, you know, the safety findings of um, dupilumab, as well as the efficacy of dupilumab in that, in that study, uh, certainly um, you know, mirrors what we've seen um, in this uncontrolled open label extension study. So um, these patients are adult patients um, who rolled over from um, one of our um, earlier studies, either a phase two or phase three study. Um, there were certainly above 18 years of age, um, a slight preponderance of um, male patients in, in the study, um, and had a high degree of disease activity at, at entry to the study.